Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Richard Morrison's Crawl Space Vents. Richard Morrison's Crawl Space Vents, um, <clears throat> such a great question, I think, or it got me to thinking. He says, has any, anyone found a good strategy uh, for placing crawl space vents? I'm talking about the 5 by 14 type that sits, listen, that sits just above the mud sill. I'm not talking, he's not talking about in the concrete stem wall. He's talking about just above the mud sill. I get that. Usually within the floor choice space. That's what he says. Usually within the floor choice space. Put them, put them on the first floor. They screw up on the on up, screw up the floor plan. Put them on the foundation level. They don't display properly in 3D. So far, the best option seems to be to make the first floor a pony wall with upper and lower the same wall type, but the vent in the lower portion. Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something. Richard, you're missing something. And I've been missing something until you ask this question because this this has always bugged me. I couldn't look. I made a symbol and fumbled around with this stupid thing. But this guy here, Greg, says, I've been using regular windows stripped and re look right here, Greg. Regular windows stripped and resized to block size 16 by eight. Hope it helps. <clears throat> but and, 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 you, and you look at his look at look what he's doing. He's putting in the concrete block wall. That's not what Richard asked. And that's not what Richard asked. In fact, Richard says, well, it wasn't really the question, but you should be aware that and then and then Richard talks about using uh uh, that there are already foundation vents like this in the library, and if they are designated as vents rather than windows, you can easily exclude them from window schedule and also create a separate vent schedule. Well, I don't think that's a good answer either. I don't think that's a good answer. So, you know, I, and I was thinking about last night after Richard asked this question, I th and look, I, I've been struggling, th struggling with this forever, and I finally figured out, I, I think, I, I can't believe I'm the only one that just, I just figured it out, and I can't believe Someone else hadn't figured it out, but here it is. Here's the here's the answer. It's a combination of the two answers. You, you put a window in, which is a vent on the foundation level. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Stop this shit. Screw it up real quick. Okay, this is this is what. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can do it. WW. I'm gonna put a vent right there. Oh, see, there's the vent right there. Uh, watch this. U U. And this is the problem. The the problem. I gotta go through this because I, I just figured this out after uh, uh, Richard asked this question, and I'm just, so anyway. There's his louver vent, and he wants it this size, but that's not where he wants it. He doesn't want it in the wall. He wants it in the he wants it in the crawl space. Well, doggone it, man! I mean, how stupid can we be? All we have to do is hold down the control key and move it up there. There you got it. I, I, I can't believe we're so dumb. Or I, I was so dumb that I didn't figure that out until Richard asked this question again. I started thinking about it. Well, I mean, why, why don't you just move the stupid thing up, you know? There it is. It's right where it's right where Richard wants it, really. And that's where I've wanted it for the last 10 years. But I couldn't figure out how to do it until Richard just asked me about it or asked someone about it. There it is right there. Look at this. I mean, is, is that beautiful? Uh, control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. Okay, now, now, now. Okay, so look, in my mind, that works pretty darn good. Seven, seven. Look, look at all those vents I created in there. I, I don't know what you, you. What's the height of this, by the way? And this is one thing I don't really like. Uh, uh, floor to top, floor to bottom, floor to top. See, I'd rather have it defined as ceiling to top, ceiling to bottom. You get what I'm saying? Not ceiling to top, ceiling to bottom. In case I change that height in that in that crawl space, if I change the height in the crawl space, I tell you, I I want my I want my vents relative the, to the floor above, not relative to the floor of the crawl space. You guys understand that. And so I think Chiefs missed something here, uh, and that th that I should be able to define the window from the ceiling and not from the floor. That's the point. But anyway, this, this works okay. I mean, I, I got it, okay? And now what is this? You, you. What is this? You, you. This is a... It's a louver type. Okay. Okay. And now and now, what what Richard said is... Wait, Richard said, well, I, I, how about doing doing a, 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 a schedule? Well, that's a great question. Tools. Schedule. Window schedule. What I've been doing is I make it making a, 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 a window. Okay. Now here's here's my schedule right here. U U 
And what do I want to include in this schedule? I uh, What do I want to include? Let me think about this. No, I don't want custom. I don't want mold. I don't want bay. I don't want bows. I don't want louver windows. On this schedule, I don't want that, that. And this is, I'm, I'm addressing uh, uh, Richard's point about, well, you can create a separate schedule and do the vents only. Well, I think if you use a window, because what when, I'll talk about what, 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 what I think this is going to work. Vents. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs and I'll put some windows in. WW, bump, bump, bump. I just put a bunch of windows in here and just to make sure it doesn't include in my schedule below. Oh. Oh, well, I don't want any of these. I don't want to include any of this stuff. Objects to include. And so I, I, what I'm doing is I'm creating a vent schedule and I have a separate window schedule. That's the idea, vents. There it is, one, two, three, four. Yeah, those are all my vents. I don't have any windows included. So I was able to use a window, which is defined as a vent, and have a separate schedule. You, you got that right there, right? You understand what I just did? That is freaking cool. And I'm so glad Richard asked this question and, and, he, and he talked about, I talk, I, he talked about uh, schedules. And that's, that's so awesome. And this schedule right here, by the way, I don't want to include vents. Uh, whatever. There. I didn't include the Look at. One, two, three, four. This says one, two, seven, eight, nine. What's what the window? Uh, I don't get. I mean, I, I, I don't. Look. What's wrong with this vent and this vent? One's on the second floor and one's on the first floor. Oh, yeah. You can tell right here the floors. Uh, all those windows are on the floors. Uh, so one, two, seven, and eight. I, I'm not gonna get me. You figure out the numbers. I, I can't figure out the numbers. I, I use my own numbers. I custom. I custom my eyes. Customize my own windows. So what I'm telling you, the best way to do this in my mind is to use a window that's a look that's defined as a vent, and then I can create it, my own. This is so cool, Richard. And I can control, uh, create my own vent schedule to put on my foundation plan to show my vent areas and stuff. We all get that, don't we? I mean, I, 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 I bet I can get it done. Uh, in fact, this one's going to be called a uh, uh, what is this? This is called a. It's not. Uh, this is vent schedule. There it is. V e n t vent schedule. There, you, there you go, Richard. Now this is the vent schedule, and I bet I can put area. You think I can put area in here, Richard? Oh, Richard, you're so you're so awesome. Airy, actual. Uh, I don't know. Add it. Add it. Okay, let's just see what happens. Let's just see. We're just seeing what happens. Okay, where's the areas? There's the areas right there. There's the areas right there. Richard, man. Now and oh, and there's my fucking total, Richard. Sorry, 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 sorry. There's there's a total, Richard. Richard, Richard, God dang you, man. This is awesome. There's my total vent area. So, you know, you figure out your area of the of the, of the crawl space, and then you say the one uh, 150th or whatever it is, and uh, then you get your area. Rich, awesome, Richard. Now, this is where, where Richard went wrong, I think. And Richard talked about uh, talked about using the vents in the uh, the vents in the library. The vents in the library. That's a vent from the library. Control L. Control L. That's this vent. Okay, you go to your library, you type in vent, you pick out, I don't know, this, this stupid 14 by 4 horizontal. Okay? Put it right there. It works there, doesn't it? In the, in the, in the concrete wall. Okay, you move, move it up a little bit. Now, this is where it gets all screwed up. <laughs> what, what, what the heck is that? What the heck? So don't even do it. Don't even do it. In fact, in fact, that is a that is a symbol. It's not even it's not a window. It's a symbol. Watch this. Dot bottom left. I can open up my symbol for that thing, which which is created. And I can call it a vent or whatever, and I can. I don't. I don't get it. I, I don't. I, I, someone tell explain it to me if uh, if I'm wrong here. But right here on the window, actually, uh, j just so you know the difference, you cannot open symbol, can you? You can open the object. You can open the object, but you can't open symbol. Over here, you can open symbol and open object. You get the difference? I don't know what the difference. You can. You can open symbol, open object there. 
And that, that's, a, that's an actual symbol. This is an actual window. And then just so you know, I, I, I've manipulated this, these, these things just a little bit. So look, look at this. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. You, you guys figure this stuff out. But this is the way it came out, out of cheap. And I, I don't think I ma manipulated much at all. But you can see the uh, it's not flush out with the siding. And so what I did on this one here, uh, well, watch this. Uh, 08 to copy, and I'm just going to move it over here just so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to, well, I get, I get in the middle of a floor joist, and I'll just move it over a little bit. You, you, watch this. And I take the, watch this, watch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out flush with the finish. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, frame, and you guys figure this out. You're set. Been set. No, oh, let's see. Do I want to do that? Uh, about, I think it's a minus one, which is the thickness of the siding or something. Watch this. Boop. There it is. You see, it just popped out. Hey, Richard, 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 man, you saw this thing. And I've been futzing with it forever, and I've been using my own custom created symbol and blah, 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 blah. But shit, shoot, shoot. You just control C, control B, stick it right there. Oh, control X. Oh, uh, I think you have to watch this. I'm going to spin it around. Okay, I'm going to spin it around. I have to be on this foundation level, right? And I'm going to put it on the back wall, right? Control V. Bump. There they are, Richard. They're already defined. Control V. Richard, god dang you, man. Now, if I go up a level, if I go up a level and I put one of those in there, Control V is going to be up. Yeah, there it is up there, right? You got that. Richard, thank you so much. I'm, I mean, this is such a no-brainer. I can't believe it's taken me so long to figure this out. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to. Anyway, it works for me. It's it solved it for me. Thanks, Richard. That's the end. That is the end. Great vid for me. Great vid for me. I could total up the I could total up the area of the vents without doing any fancy multiplying because I all I have to do is W. All I have to do is just to review it really quick. Oh, just let's just review it really quick. Control L. I'm gonna review this whole thing real quick. What did I learn out of this? I, what I what I learned out of this is uh, for my foundation vents, I use windows. For my foundation vents, I use windows. And they're defined as louvers. And then I can create a schedule. I can create a uh, vent schedule right here. And the vent, this vent schedule right here only includes my vents. There it is. Then I can have this window schedule that includes all my windows but not my vents. Awesome. With my vent schedule over here, I can actually get a total air, uh, a total uh, uh area of vents that's in square feet i think i'd rather have it in inches but maybe i want one feet maybe that's right maybe that's right uh i want it in feet that is so freaking awesome and so now i can come over here and go i can come over here and go oh you guys can figure out the area of, of the crawl space and I, I know how many uh square feet of vent area i need and i can i don't have to i never have to add this up again this legend gives it to me richard you're awesome uh and, but I don't like Richard's idea of using the symbol that comes out of the library. The best thing to do is to use the use a window that's louvered, that's defined as louvered. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.